Guys, today a quick review on DJI's new app, DJI Virtual Flight app, and why you need to go and download this free app and test it out. It's so much fun. So when you've downloaded it, you just need to agree to the privacy policy, just sign into your normal DJI account, and then away you go. And this app is brilliant. I've only recently flown FPV drone, but it's a completely different way of flying, but it's so much fun. It's like being in a video game. Completely different experience from flying a normal DJI drone. So when you've logged in and everything here, you've got three options here you can use the remote controller or the motion controller with the new fpv drone but you can also use your smartphone and i have been told that this also is going to be coming with an update soon to allow you to use any remote controller such as a mini 2 controller or a set of controllers made before the ps4 ps5 or xbox is going to be awesome and it's a great way to actually experience what an fpv flight will be like so you've got choice of beginner or drone pilot for an experienced drone pilot i'm just going to click on that one and then within the app there is different games you can do first of all it shows you the remote controller settings and sticks because these are completely different movements from what you may be used to so testing it on this app you're not going to obviously experience a massive financial loss if you was to crash this drone which i do a lot within the app there's three different games you can do so first of all let's click on time trial and then you can select different maps a parking garage a factory or a soccer field and then you can fly around it this is like a tutorial just to get you going you control the sticks just exactly like you would if you have gone and bought that fpv drone yourself the screen is exactly the same as what it will look like and i've got it into normal mode which is very similar to how you would fly a normal dji drone it's quite smooth and it will hover in place and the ability to fly is really easy to do with this just by getting used to the new controller motion you can click into third person view so you can see what it looks like on the actual drone it's a bit easier to fly this way but the controller sticks everything is so sensitive and a different way of flying and then you just go around this time trial here and see how fast you can get around this building but obviously getting experience and getting used to what them controller sticks are like and it's a really great way before potentially going out purchasing an fpv drone or just by having some fun and that's what this app is it is so much fun and it's great that dji have brought out this simulator so just looking at the three different options you've got skills training free flight and time trial the skills training will obviously teach you from a complete beginner how to fly and especially in manual mode which is just absolutely insane but let's click on to free flight and this allows you now to just freely fly as it says around one of these maps so let's click on the soccer field start the propeller as the exact same you would push that throttle up Again, it's still in N mode for now, so everything's stable, it's hovering in the air, and it just gives you that ability to fly around in quite a big open space like this. If you did have the new FPV drone, you can use your goggles with this and the controller. So before you take out your really expensive $1,300 drone, practice on this simulator a lot. But also, if you've not got one, you just want some fun and you're into drones, this app is ace. It's so much fun and you can pass a lot of time trying to learn a new skill and that's what's great about drones by picking up an fpv drone it's a completely new way of flying and you can fly through these little gaps here but i'm not having it any risk and as you'll see now just as i try and get it back down again oops crashed it there but again i can just now carry on and i'm not actually going to be crying because i've just wasted 1300 dollars or pounds but what also you can do in here is just clicking on that end mode in the bottom left hand corner you can change it into sports mode which are all similar to with normal drones obviously just increases that speed a lot uh, but it's a lot more fun it's kind of like the next stage in that fpv drone experience before unlocking full ridiculously crazy mental manual mode which we'll get to and that takes a lot of practice so practice a lot on this drone but it does teach you well so the m mode you have to actually can move the controller sticks to unlock it just like you would if you had that normal fpv drone but right now oh my god it's just insane you've got full controls over the tilt of that drone you can pan right down pan up it's absolutely mental but what a great experience of when you're actually decent which i'm not yet but i'm practicing a lot on this simulator before potentially moving on to another fpv drone in real life so you can click on skills training which i have done on manual mode tutorial and this is three different options within that manual mode and it teaches you how to use the full controls and it goes from takeoff to different things of flying through these barriers and getting you flying, flying through objects mode. when Use you've unlocked different levels you, you can spend hours on this playing this game it's my ultimate most fun dji or any flight simulator game that's out there and the best thing is it's actually free 
so once you've spent quite a bit of time practicing on this flying through the obstacles you can then move on back onto here and look at another one we'll just go to free flight and now because i've had a little bit more experience though i should be slightly better so we'll just click on the factory which is really cool because you've got some really nice buildings to fly through here so spend some time on this but it is fun so again pushing that throttle all the way down i love how it's the exact same how you would actually fly that drone in real life they've actually put on a really good simulator here so in m mode you've got full control of everything that pitch the yaw the roll of that drone and it is an absolute rapid this drone 88 miles an hour that this drone goes and I can only imagine what this is going to be like in real life. You can do full flips with it like I'm doing there. It's just so fun. It's a great simulator. One of the best simulators that I've seen from a drone. And some of them, they charge you, but this is free. And it's all current and it's up to date and realistic, just as it would if you just went and bought this. But obviously, you're not having that risk until you're an expert or you're really good and confident at flying. Within that settings, the picture quality is really good, but you can change the FPV on it. You can change the quality of the video. You've also got the normal sound effect on the drone great at this go and download this and have some fun with this it's very addictive and if you do the time trial once you've got a bit of practice post in the comments down below how fast you did the factory and the soccer field i'd love to know and i can compete against you that'd be really good fun so i hope you enjoyed that guys a great app brilliant go and download it take care see you very soon guys bye bye